So, an e-bike is pretty much like a basic bike, except it's got a few add-ons. The first add-on you'll notice is going to be a power source to drive the bike. The second add-on you're going to see is you're going to see this guy right here. We have a rear hub assembly. This is the motor for this guy. And right here is the extra bit, the brain of the vehicle. This is the motor controller. Before powering on an e-bike, make sure that the battery is locked and you have the key successfully stored upon your being. To turn on an e-bike, you'll look on the left-hand side of your handlebars or on the center display, depending on your e-bike. You'll then hit the power mode and it should give you some feedback. The plus or minus buttons will adjust your level of assistance. In addition to your pedal assist, e-bikes come with a twist throttle like a motorcycle. Once you pull back, you will get an appropriate level of response from the motor. If the throttle sounds intimidating, keep in mind it's designed to top out at 20 miles an hour. Once you've selected your level of assist, you're ready to begin your ride. While we know you're going to have a lot of adventures with your bike, safety plays a primary concern. And first of all, we're going to start with paint. Many e-bikes are equipped with high visibility paint. Not only that, but the addition of having a battery on board makes having extra electrical components very easy to have, such as forward-facing lights. In the rear of the bike, we actually have active rear brake lights. E-bikes offer advanced braking with state-of-the-art cable pull disc brakes. An additional safety feature on our e-bikes is the bell to let yourself be known and heard by others around you. At the end of your ride, always power down your bicycle. E-biking is a healthy, fun, and sustainable way for you to get outside, enjoy some fresh air, and expand your world. Have any more questions? Make sure to ask one of your ride guides and they'll be happy to help you.